Hello. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk about the Friedel Crafts alkylation. The Friedel Crafts reactions are a, a group of carbon carbon bond forming reactions. Uh, react uh, that can in, in the family of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And so finally we get to some of the highest value uh, electrophilic aromatic substitutions because it allow for the formation of carbon-carbon bonds, which of course is one of the, the most important uh, goals in organic synthesis. <clears throat> As in previous uh, cases, while we have something that's normally a pretty good electrophile, an alkyl halide, it's not good enough for uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution. And so like the halogens, uh, the friedel crafts alkylation reaction requires an activating agent, or a, in this case, very similarly, a, a Lewis acid catalyst. Uh, and so the active electrophile then is formed by the, the reaction of the alkyl halide with the Lewis acid catalyst. And what I am going to draw for you arrow-wise, if you've watched the video on uh, the halogenation reactions, this is going to look very familiar. Chlorine atom, and, and this actually works for alkyl bromides and, uh, as well. Chloride atom, or the chlorine atom on the alkyl chloride, reacts with the aluminum trichloride and forms this Lewis acid base pair. Um, and, and what we have done, in effect, uh, as all of these reactions, many of these reactions do, you know, we don't just have a good leaving group, we have some sort of supercharged leaving group. So just like propanating uh, an alcohol makes it a better leaving group, taking a chlorine, which is a good leaving group, and making it positively charged makes it a super leaving group. The mechanism then follows uh, a very similar pattern to other electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. We have nucleophilic uh, attack of the aromatic ring at the electrophile, loss of leaving group. Formation of this common carbocation intermediate. If you've been following, following along, hopefully you are starting to, to get a sense of this car common carbocation intermediate. In, in, and then likewise, we have this aluminum chloride, tetrachloroaluminate anion, which serves as the base. <clears throat> Removes the proton and generates, since our, our, uh, elect our, our initial alcohol halide was chloroethane, we generate ethyl benzene, we generate hydrochloric acid, and we regenerate aluminum chloride. <clears throat> Unlike the other electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions I've covered in videos up to this point, this reaction is more general in that there are dozens if not hundreds of alkyl halides out there that you could use in this reaction, and just about all of them behave the way you might expect. Uh, so for example, if you use a tert butyl uh, chloride or 2-chloro-2-methyl propane aluminum chloride, you would end up with tert butyl benzene. It's also worth pointing out uh, that one advantage of doing the reaction this way is it generates things that act like carbocations in nonpolar reaction media. That being said, Friedel Crafts type reactions also can occur with other things that generate carbocations. And so, for example, a commercially important uh, 
alkylation of benzene is this one, the reaction of benzene with propene to make cumene, which is then uh, the precursor for making phenol and acetone. And propene and phosphoric acid will react together to form the, the isopropyl cation, which is the active electrophile in this particular reaction. And generally, uh, anything that out there that can yield carbocations or things that behave like them is going to react uh, with benzene. <clears throat> There's one, there are a couple of limitations to this reaction. First of all, uh, it's essentially an SN2 or SN1 kind of reaction at the alkyl halide. So halides that don't undergo those reactions like vinyl halides and and aryl halides and whatnot just aren't going to work here as well. And then there's just this one annoying thing. Even though the uh, active electrophile that I showed you is not uh, a carbocation, it still has some irritating tendencies to behave like carbocations, and of course by that I mean rearranging. And in fact, oops, uh, and in fact the rearrangement is, is pretty highly likely, and, and so in a reaction of chloropropane with benzene and aluminum chloride, you get a significant amount of isopropyl benzene um, See, I don't want to redraw the. Yeah, we'll, re re we'll redraw the whole thing. <clears throat> what the, the the proposed action here is is that there there is a possibility of a more stable carbocation-like thing, and so you get a hydride shift. So this is not a. Uh, this is not a proton transfer. You get a hydride shift to the end of the chain and it bumps off the chloroaluminate thing and forms a carbocation and now it's the secondary carbocation which is more stable. Uh, and the rearrangement from primary and secondary to tertiary is of course even more likely. In an upcoming video we'll talk about how to avoid this particular scenario but right now, I just want you to understand that linear al primary linear alkanes are going to undergo, uh, or primary linear alkyl halides are going to undergo rearrangement in this kind of reaction. Okay. Next video, I'll talk about friedel crafts acylation, which is the carbonyl version. So you can make ketones, uh, and then we will get uh, back to uh, a solution for this particular problem. Thank you for watching.